Um, hello, everybody. I'll be as quick as possible as well. So I want to introduce a, a concept to you called everyday innovation. It's a challenge to organizations to actually how do you enable every person in your organization across every function and level to be able to innovate every day. Organizations have fantastic people with them with great skill sets, with great value to add to your innovation programs. You have to get out there and ask them and engage, engage them in your innovation program. So how do we break it down? So looking at the five pillars of everyday innovation as we see them, what is your innovation strategy? The amount of people that have innovation as one of their, of, as one of their core values is amazing. Actually, do they understand what it even means across their organization? What's your leadership team like? Are they sponsoring your innovation programs? Are they bought into actually what is our long-term vision of this? Are they, are they enablers? And that, that, sorry, that goes down to management as well. Are they enablers of innovation or are they blockers of innovation? Are those, when somebody's got an idea on the front line, these people that are doing these jobs every single day, when they come to their managers, are they getting turned away because they've got no time? Or are they going, actually, this is the process to deliver these ideas? Um, sorry, again, culture. This is really what innovation is about. So actually, it's a cultural engagement piece. Do people feel like they can share their ideas? Do people feel like uh, if they do share their ideas, they're not going to be shot down? And is there a sense that people can risk and fail quickly and actually try new things? And then tools and processes. How do you actually put a framework around uh, where ideas go, what happens to them, and making sure every idea has every opportunity to develop into something? So if we break it down like that, how do we gain insight across our organization of what those pillars mean to people. So we developed uh, an organizational-wide survey. People like Virgin Trains have run this, Abelio have run this, we developed it with the RSSB. And what it is, is it gets, gives you insight into every level and function across your organization of what innovation means across the five pillars. So actually, what do I need to know if that person in that function, Joe Bloggs over there, what does he think about the innovation strategy? Does he think the culture is right? And therefore, we can gain that insight to give different actions on those, which could look something like this. That's a terrible slide, so you can't see it, but you're able to, you'll be able to um, see it. But if we look at strategy, actually, is innovation part of our long-term strategy? Uh, and is it aligned with our business goals? Are we all pulling in the right direction? Our leadership, are they sponsoring and providing resources? Are they leading by example? Are they running innovation programs as well? Management, again, are they, are they blocking innovation and are they rewarding and recognizing people? Are they encouraging it? Make them your innovation champions because those are the people that can unlock people on the front line. Culture as well, actually, are we collaborative? Are we transparent? Are we empowering people? Are we giving them a voice? Are we making them feel listened to? What type of organization do we actually want to be? Do we want to be an open and collaborative organization? Or do we want to stay top down and hierarchical? Because obviously, that's not the best way to do things if you want to, to reach a common goal and collaborate towards something. And then tools and processes. Our business has got an innovation management tool. I know it's a little plug, but I thought I might as well do it, and there's a lot of people here. So um, please um, come and talk to us actually about how you can use technology to manage information at scale. If you've got thousands of ideas and thousands of employees, how are you going to emerge the best ones? How are you going to review and evaluate and give feedback on the best ones? How are you going to select the best ideas? And then how are you going to deliver those ideas at the end of that process? I know it's quick. I know you want lunch. But that is the idea of everyday innovation. Please come and talk to me after if you want to find out anything more. Right, I'll have a clicker. Right, that was just me, rather. The, um, the reason for inviting Wazuku in is the John Lewis group use these guys. Um, I'm one of those people who went and nicked the Waitrose coffee. Anyone else? That, that came out of the staff contribution at the low level, being able to feed up, and the more and more importantly, at the high level, not having the hassle of how do you manage it, but being able to make those decisions quite simply and easily, and understanding that's cool, that fits with our strategy, right, let's make it happen. So from a leadership and cultural point of view, it's actually relatively easy to implement without going and disappearing into crazy amounts of theory. So your next steps, you could go and try and implement that with absolutely no experience, good luck. Um, for those of you who do understand how innovation works, you could also try what London Midland are doing. Do I have anyone from London Midland in here? Fantastic, ah, brilliant. Up on the mezzanine floor, London Midland have got their labs here. Um, Josh is here, and what they do is they run an accelerator program over 12 weeks. They cherry pick, 
out of an application of, say, 100 SMEs in their case, down to just 10, and in a 12-week process, they ended up, you procured four products? Six. Six. So there you go, out of 10 products, they well, actually ended up with 11, because bizarrely enough, another thing got created by the group of the businesses that were in there. Um, that's what it looks like. Those guys are up on the mezzanine floor. Um, so if you want to talk to people who are in that rail space who are doing this, Josh is the one to have a quick chat there on that. Um, from my side of things, why the SMEs are getting into it is in this diagram here. We're all guilty from following the traditional thing of we've got a product, a process, or a service, and you go to the management of the company and you say, this will help you deliver your strategy. But if the leadership aren't bought into it and the culture's not right, it ain't happening. What that survey tool we've found does is it breaks that down and it actually engages people in the business. And frighteningly, you discover most of us are in that novice innovator area. But it doesn't take a huge quantum leap to just do tiny changes and it'll move it on. If you want to know more, the guys from Wazooka are buried over in the corner near the cafe.